Now, before we start to meditate, I would like first to read a few sentences about meditation by the famous Cardinal Mercier. He says, I am going to reveal to you a secret of sanctity and happiness. If every day during five minutes you will keep your imagination quiet, shut your eyes to all the things of sense, and close your ears to all the sounds of earth, so as to be able to withdraw into the sanctuary of your soul, which is the temple of the Holy Spirit, your life will pass happily and serenely. Consolation will abound even in the midst of trouble. Grace will be given in proportion to the trial as well as strength to bear it, bringing you to the gates of paradise full of merit. And the meditation he gives is the following. O Holy Spirit, soul of my soul, I adore thee. Enlighten, guide, strengthen, and console me. Tell me what I ought to do and command me to do it. I promise to be submissive in everything thou permittest to happen to me. Only show me what is thy will. Meditation is of immense therapeutic value as it brings poise, detachment, calmness, emotional maturity, and spiritual reward to minds forced into acceptance of organized distraction, which is the everyday routine of any Western metropolitan existence. Meditation raises the moral standard of the individual. It helps the young to build an ideal and to form a character. It gives a higher reason for living, takes away the drudgery of life for those engaged in struggle for existence, and it does away with fear. The effectiveness of meditation does not depend upon any further knowledge, but only upon the effectiveness of action that follows. Correctly understood, this is action without conscious action, purposefulness without stressed purpose, virtue without any attempt towards virtue. It is natural being. It is everyday life lived fully and richly. Through meditation, you may learn to change the direction of your thinking, of your mind, of your desire. Meditation is the looking glass for your spiritual face, to see into all parts of the mind. A man suffers because he desires to retain what cannot be retained. Meditation leads to illumination of the spirit, the liberation of the inside, and a consequent emancipation from the fetters of daily existence.